Phil Fish is one of the most arrogant, self-absorbed assholes the game industry has ever seen. It is unfathomable how one man can be so pretentious, so narcissistic, and yet be so greatly rewarded. Fez has done amazingly well. It has been praised by critics almost universally. Fish has been lucky enough to be one of those few indie developers to become massively successful where many others fail. He has had a documentary made about him, he has won awards, he is most likely a millionaire by now, and what does he do? Shit all over everybody. And he has always been like this. Before Fez, his first game, was even finished, he would boast about how great he was. When people called him out for his bullshit, he, like a child, entered a state of perpetual temper tantrum. Then, Fez won some awards, and he told everybody to suck his dick. Oh, so gracious he was in victory, he continued his angry rants all over the internet, blubbering pretentious nonsense and insulting anyone that questioned him. All the while, Fez was racking up sales. His battleground is Twitter. It isn't surprising that you need to be approved to look at his tweets. Just calling up a quick Google search of Phil Fish Twitter reveals a goldmine of the angry, hateful Phil Fish's faults. Fez 2 was announced. People were excited. Fish carried on being a prick. Then, out of the blue, Fish decides once again to act like an attention-seeking little brat and shit on everyone one final time. With terrible grammar, Fish posts on his blog. Fez 2 is cancelled. I am done. I take the money and I run. This is as much as I can stomach. This isn't the result of any one thing, but the end of a long, bloody campaign. You win. Oh, but not because some boorish fuck said something stupid. No, just to get out of games. Yes, Mr. Fish. Leave games. Leave behind all success. Abandon all your fans. Over nothing.